Okay, so last episode was a lot, and so was the one before that. I'm going to finish up this part here where it says go and meet with Mio. Hopefully that gets her back in our party. And if that's the case, I will probably just do some side quests today because I feel like I need a break from story and then I want to just be cozy and do some side quests. But let's go talk to Mio real quick. I can't help but wonder. Would I have been able to save you? I wanted time to stand still. More than anything. I felt completely powerless. I wished time would stop. If the moment could have lasted forever, we... I wished for the unthinkable. Just like N. I proved to be just like him. No. For my part, this is all I need. When did you two... It was when we first fought against them. Ever since then, Em and I were swapped around. Yep. I see. I honestly thought you were Em back there. You had me fooled. Well, I think that was the Maybe point. Maybe that's a bad way to put it. In any case, I didn't realize at all. I did try my best. I couldn't afford to fail. If anyone suspected me, you'd have all been executed on the spot. But her feelings... I couldn't simply let them go to waste. M's feelings? She wanted to give you everything that she knew about N. To help us escape. To break this never-ending Mobius curse. To lose and lose and still stand back up. Even in the depths of despair, she wanted you to have the strength to defeat those at the root of that despair. She sure had a lot of faith in me. Oh. She believed that if anyone in the world could make it possible, it would be you. Mm -hmm. That's why she merged our will so we could act to further our goal. Earlier, you said it was fun, but it wasn't you, it was M. I really think she meant it. It was brief, but being who I am now, passing my thoughts along onto you, and receiving yours in turn, she was grateful. I see. From that moment, Em's words were my words, and my words were now hers. Her life was scattered on the breeze, but her memories and her will live on inside my heart. Come, I have something to show you. Where are you going? Just over there to Hope's Rest. I'll be back soon. The other me had something she wanted Noah to see. He's going to see that. Yeah, I'm coming too. What? Come on, let's go. Helps rest is a summer stroll from here. Just get off the transport, Levness. Saunter out of the west gate. Then keep going till you see the hill with a sea view. Easy peasy, eh? Yes. Okay, let's go. We will be heading to Mulas Depot in the Condensia region. All passengers should board through here. Yes. I guess I'll just do this part of the story and then move on to side quests. What is that? Here. Em was still unsure to the very last whether to show you the memory of this place. But I think it would be best. This place, it was everything to end. What do you mean? Well, you see, this is where the city once stood. It did? It was long ago. The city back then. It was much more prosperous than now. 
It positively teemed with people. So then, it must have drawn Mobius' ire even more than now. I wonder if that was that first place that they were at in the memory. There it lies before you, your heart's desire. There is no life within. You must breathe it into her yourself. <gasps> life from the people of the city. Is this how you Mobius want me to end started? Every one of them. Why the hesitation? Oh my God. Existing in this place is by itself a result of your own choices. You are the one who chose the endless now, are you not? Your response should already be predetermined. This must have been before the other Mobius members came into play. It seems like he's the first. Such a shame. Wait, please! So he destroyed the city to save her, the original city. Was this like the son that they had? Is he was he part of this city? Oh no. Tell me. Tell me why. I didn't want to lose any more. What do you mean anymore? Everything we held dear is gone. You took them all away. And you dare talk about your feelings of loss. Now you will continue to exist as Mobius, the same as myself. <sighs> Sorry about the dogs. He always picks the best time to start barking. So you did it. Sealed our fate. Now we can live forever. But this future's been stamped out before it's time. There she is, crying again. She was never on board with this. And... I can't even disappear. Only two things were important to him. Impossible. How could one ever choose between them? Surely he couldn't do it. Well, he did, I think. And yet, he did make a choice. No one can truly judge him for the things he did. Repentance. The intentions they left behind, they turned into us. Oh. Mm. Of course, it's heartbreaking, but... But still, she was smiling. We have to change things. Yeah. And this time, we'll succeed. So it's set. Our new goal. Agreed? 
Yes. He I can't get away with this. Now we don't really have a time limit. No, at I'm least. not feeling very forgiving either. We have but way guys, more time. Now we know there's an even bigger bad behind that snuffer. Mm -hmm. Zed. Making someone choose the impossible. It's so cruel. Thanks, everyone. Looks like your minds are made up. Here, yeah, this is yours. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. By the by, who is that Zed sleazebag? He's something like the head of all Mobius, or so it seemed. I've only met him in the memories that M showed me, though. We now know his power is vast, far greater than any of the others in Mobius. Damn, so he's... Yes, he is our true adversary. The one who formed the world we know. Just who decided that this was how it should be? If I knew who they were or where, I'd... Oh, was he watching this? Before we blast Z to his just desserts, first we have to find the Queen of Agnes, right? Right. But I'm not sure right now. Is... What's this? You worried about us? I mean, you were all locked in prison cell for all that time, and you're still hurt from the fight with N. Oh, whatever. We all need a bit of exercise and a stretch. Good to get that blood pumping. Oh, yeah? Well, am I ever pleased to hear that. If you can move, then help clean up the square you went mental on. <laughs> ah, yes, we probably should. Yeah. Then it's a deal. I'm heading back to the castle, so get a shift on. Okay. Feels like we have one less worry now, eh? Agreed. They should be able to start on repairs now. Not what I meant, though. Yeah. I meant this whole thing. Mio, that's right. At that moment, everything just felt so utterly hopeless that it hurt. It really did. There wasn't a thing I could do. But it still worked out, right? Huh. Thanks to all of you being there. Ah. <laughs> what? Surprised you didn't choke on those words. Well, of course not. <laughs> I can express some emotions. <laughs> there has to be a reason we met. Hmm? Say what? It's something that Noah said once. And you found a reason. We've seen one wish granted. True. Still, we've got a way to go. This isn't nearly the end. No rest for Ouroboros. That's true. At least we've won ourselves an extension. Ah, uh, it'll work out somehow. Uni, am I sensing a streak of optimism? I thought you were one to worry about the details a bit more. Now I've got a reliable guy to stand by me, so... Oh. What, what and, and who m might that be, then? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my secret. Tyon, please. Ugh, all done and dusted. Good work, team. All squeaky clean. We leave tomorrow, correct? Yeah, so let's take it easy for the rest of today. Meh, but where can it be easily taken? Good question. The castle's swarming with Agnes soldiers in lost numbers. If you aren't fussed about fancy bedding, there's a guard station in that building you can lie down in. Is better than cage cell.
We're about the same altitude as the Great Sword, right? I hardly ever see any birds around. It's really quiet. Yeah, it is. When I was in prison, you could hear the waves sometimes. Those were rare moments of comfort. Let's see. Oh, hey, it's Ruggy Scruggy. Ah, breathing air of freedom again. Simply best thing. Chance for earning more monies, too. Ruggy Scruggy, Scruggy thought luck was spent when bunged into jail. But now have way to get mega profits, trading with Agnes and City. Good for you, Ruggy you Scruggy. Let's just sneak a peek. This already. has got to be worth a bunch. Let's put it away for safekeeping. Hey. Yeah, what now? You ain't looking too peachy right now. I don't think you should be getting out there. You might break something. Wait a sec. Gondor is worried about us now? What is going to... What is it going to snow or something? Don't get any weird ideas. We just don't need the hassle of cleaning up the mess when you lot die like dogs on the wayside. So you'll be staying here, then. We're attached to the Agnian forces by order of the city. Whatever Milady needs from us, Agni and I will deliver. We are her rock. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, it's you. Yes, yes. Not too bad at all. There are some hotheads among the Agnians and some that are giving us a hard time, though. It's all a bit daunting. We'll have to work out. We'll have our work cut out for us. Anyway, I needn't worry too much. I'm sure Milady will fix everything in no time. We'd got into the habit of thinking of the inmates as a workforce. That's how we were conditioned to think, so we never questioned it. Bit depressing when you look back on it. That certainly sounds like the machinations of a consul. You must, mustn't blame yourself for the way things were. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't really our fault when you think about it. I don't know. I think it's good to reflect on your actions a little. We've made some new friends. Yeah, but they were forced into it. It wasn't like they had a choice. All right. I'm going to actually do some discussions some real quick because I know I have a few. Um, inlet camp. Oh, I have to go to the inlet camp for that one. And I have to go to the city camp for that one, which I can't access at the moment. But I can probably grab these. Let's have a little huddle up. So about this sheet music we found in the city. I gave it a try and it turns out it's a really cheerful piece of music. It looks like only half the music is in here, though. I'd really like to know the rest. Someone in the city will have dropped it. Should we see if we can find out who it belongs to? Yes, please. Okay, let's find somewhere with plenty of people to try asking around. Except I can't do that right now unless I am missing the city. I might have to go back and check. The city is full of things I've never heard of and all this amazing tech and stuff. But they seem to have scavenged they seem to have to scavenge things like Levness parts like we do. It'll be a sight harder than just normal scavenging, too. Outwitting both Agnes and Kevis to get the stuff they need? Not my idea of fun. And they can't leave any trace behind either. That's why they have a specialized scavenging force. They're elite, but in a different way to Monica's Corps, which fight on the front line. I assume there can't be many of them, so the force can stay flexible and mobile. What, like a little secret platoon? Hey, could we pay a visit to Gnome Wetlands ourselves? I would like to know more about the lost numbers. You're curious about the scavengers? A little. It seems like a lot of hard work. We could lend them a hand. They're probably pretty short-handed over there. At least Uni made it sound like they're a, a titchy little unit. Oh, so it's my fault, is it? Well, regardless, it'd be a good opportunity to get to know them better. To know what lands it is. Okay, so yeah, I'm not even sure if I can do these right now. Because I can't get either of these, and they're both hero quests, unfortunately. Uh? You want to cut off those locks? No, but it's so pretty! <laughs> Hair is like lifeblood of girl! Not to be chopped like so many noodles! <laughs> but her hair's exactly. always been short. I can't decide. Should I cut it or just leave it alone? Why ask? Just do whatever you like. You gotta keep it long. It'd be a crying shame. Well, this body, it's been granted to me by my other self, right? I don't know if it's fine for me to just snip. Yeah, that's a big question for sure. Hmm. The hair doesn't just belong to me it's true but it's it's what it's such a pain <laughs> ass to wash i huh? i hate when my hair what? is long i agree i just can't smart and deal with it how she'd ever have the patience the washing takes ages and the bed head's a nightmare <laughs> the bed head. and don't get me started on the latrine whoa say no more love oh mimi so 
what do you think? Uh, well... Look, why don't you just ask Noah? This has nothing to do with him. It's my problem and my Yeah, own. it's not- it doesn't matter what Is he it just thinks. That you're looking for permission? I'd also settle for a no? <laughs> Right then, let's sort this out. We'll decide for you if you want. But afterwards, you better not come crying. Got it? Mm, I won't. I promise. Oh, I can choose. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the short hair because I agree with her. Long hair is a pain in the butt. The Cloud Keep, you say? Yes. It's where the Queen of Agnes lies sleeping. And this is the key we need to get there. You could throw yourself off. But it wouldn't be enough. Such is the fate of a Mobius. You should know by now. I it's you. We've met before, when you were still human. Mia? Your Majesty, my Queen. I will go to sleep for a good long time indeed. That should keep me out of Zed's claws. <sighs> Take this. Oh, so she's the one that originally had it. Whenever it is I wake up again, it. the world will be ripe for a change. Until that time, keep it safe. You should give it to those who deserve it. How will I know who? They'll come before you. Of that, I have no doubt. But why choose me? Because you, nay. The two of you, one day, you will certainly meet your true selves. Our true selves? Huh? I must say, I'm surprised by the location. It's right in the vicinity of Gamma and Nine. Really? How has it escaped detection for all this time? The area around the keep, it's absolutely swimming with black fog. And there's optic camouflaging on the structure itself. Hmm. So that'll be why. Is that all from M's memories? Hmm. All stuff she passed on to me. Crazy. Gondo, you knew M. Yeah. From a pretty long way back. She's the one who gave me that bloody thing in the first place. That's it. That explains a lot. She did recognize her too. She said you lot were our last hope. Asked us to lend you our assistance and junk. She must have been guarding the Queen's words. Yeah, for proper yonks and yonks and no mistaking. Yeah. And that's also the reason that you were waiting for us. Cooped up there all that time. Busted. <laughs> and the thousand lives thing. What was all that? Nice spiel, right? I wrote it. <laughs> Are you serious? Snuff, that's a letdown. You what? <laughs> Let's head out as soon as we're ready. Mobius is still out and about. We don't have to worry about Mio's lifespan anymore. But we can't just sit around, okay? Yeah, definitely. Um, guys. Mm hmm <laughs> There's a place, other than Cloudkeep, that I really need to go to. Really need? Seems you're rather troubled. Are you certain it's really that vital? It's Colony Omega. 
Omega? What? No way! It's still there? Omega? The colony I lived in with Miyabi. It was under the control of Mobius Y. I learned something important from the other me. Miyabi's still alive. Really? This Miyabi, she clearly means a lot to you then. I'm happy to leave the decision to you. Of course we can head for the keep first. This is something personal for me. Right. I hear you. Okay. To Omega. If Mio's saying she has to go there, then we will. We'll make it high priority. Thank you, Noah. That stinks. Freaking sort of origin thing. You made me look like a complete idiot. The unexpected doth come to pass. Deeply fascinating. Not a lot of you guys left. Yeah, but what's the plan? You're not gonna want to let it slide, surely. We acknowledge and accept. Whether outside or indeed within, all is part of the flow. Man, you're like a broken record. It is, after all, part and parcel of my being. <laughs> I'll just do things my way, then. Uruboros. They're nothing without what we gave them. <laughs> Got a problem, why? Oh, is that why? I shall claim primacy. Your little crew is falling apart, Zed. But I feel like you probably don't care too much about that. I'm about to set off. Are your preparations complete? Yes? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, looks like we're back in the city. Cool. Okay, yeah, cool. We're back. I'm gonna try and grab some quests while I'm here, too. Excuse me, we're trying to find the person who dropped this sheet music. Oh, that's Grandad's. I can't believe he's been dropping things in the middle of the street again. He can't keep doing this. Would you mind introducing us to him? We'd actually like to meet him. Yeah, why not? Okay, you can help me find him. Knowing Grandad, he's probably standing on a bridge somewhere, worrying about him, worrying himself sick. Thank you. He's really hard to talk to. Hmm? We've made some new friends. We're gonna also just talk to people and get some info while we're here. Ever seen Hope's Rest? Yeah, we have actually. Way back when, our founders lived there, but a catastrophic attack scattered them far and wide. Mm-hmm. That would be Noah. Those blasted Agnians made use of their castle in that opportunity and took the land for themselves. If we ever got that fertile land back, the folks here in the city would live a lot better, that's for sure. We're gonna go, gonna go back to farming again. We've made some new friends. Okay. Daddy, daddy, could we get this bug? Sure thing, champ, and what a good choice. That's probably, that'll probably help you with your studies. Reading. Interesting. Well, well. Shop of Wellwell is general store passed down through many generations of traders. Ancestors of Wellwell travel whole of the world in caravan, but one day decided to stop caravan and settle here. After that shop deal and many, many goods, artistic things, no pun craft, fun printed matters, important service to city friends. We've made some new friends. Until now, Mobius had never been able to determine the city's location. But now, thanks to a certain traitorous actions, each and every one of us is exposed to danger. How are the Lost Numbers going to take responsibility for what happened with Shania now? We made some new friends. Mm, good point. I always knew that the city itself was a piranhas. The real shocker was finding it could still move. It must have been considerably confidential for you to not know about it, but for, for you to know about it, but not Shania. The founder of my house was something special. I think even among the six heroes, only a few people knew the truth. Hmm. 
saw another info area over here. It's a novel you're after. There's nothing better than the Founder's Tale series. No question there. The author's an absolute genius. Pride of the city, I tell ya. Man, it would be really cool if this book actually existed, like IRL, because I would love to read it. I love books that are based on video games. I had no idea that the city could move about like that. I was so surprised. My, ned my head nearly fell off its shoulders. We seem to be coping just fine, though. The great sword might be broken, but the city's safe, and that's what matters. I think we've escaped the worst of it, but we're not quite out of the woods yet, which is a little worrying. Not ev not everyone is as strong as you. We need support to we need to support support each other if we're going to conquer fear and, and insecurity. We made some new friends. I see some quests too that I'm gonna want to grab. If Kevis had an annihilator, it would have been wise to assume Agnes has one too. It's fair to say mistakes were made. And I never would have imagined the city itself could move. But in any case, our, you are our Boras did yourselves proud out there. We've made some new friends. Thank you, random person. It's funny, I only have to play tag for like two minutes and then I'm super sweaty. You're moving about, love. That's what makes you sweat. What's funny about that? But I never used to sweat. I think it's a bit too warm in the city after everything moved. The city used to be right at the top of the Great Sword. I wonder if that would account for the difference in temperature. Yeah, especially if they moved closer, like, underground. I don't know how close to, like, the core they are. Our ancestors fought arm in arm once. Now we seem to, all we seem to do is bicker pointlessly among each other. In particular, the heads of House Doyle and House Cassini don't get on well with the likes of Monica and I. That said, we're all on the same side when it comes to helping Ouroboros. Okay, here would be a good place. Well, no, actually, I'm not I'm not going to take the quests just yet because I see a couple other side quests that I want to grab. My dream is to someday become an adventurer who explores the whole world outside the city. Do you guys have a dream too? Um, I suppose our dream is to defeat Mobius? You know, if you're going to have a dream, you should probably have one that's fun. You're still really young. Huh. We've made some new friends. Burnham's tell us not to fight, but all they ever do is argue with each other. Why is that? I bet we could all just live fine without all six houses, without all this six houses stuff. We've made some new friends. Leave it to the kids to come up with that. Oh my god, his name is Boomer. It is not. His name is Boomer. Is he a Boomer? Excuse me. There you are. Granddad, you dropped your sheet music again. You can't just say you can't write good music and throw everything away. Wait, you wrote this piece? We wanted to know how the rest of it went, so we came looking for you. It's such a lovely melody. I love to play it. I'd love to play it all the way through. Yeah, he's kind of a boomer. Although he's not yelling at anyone, so I guess there's an improvement there. Um, did he hear me? I think he wants you to go with him. Okay, so maybe he's not a boomer. We've made some new friends. Oh wait, I gotta follow him. Crap. Alright, let me follow Boomer right oh, now. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Aww. Such pretty music. Manana dig it. Getting groovy. <laughs> uh, ta -tum, ta -tum -tum. I think Granddad enjoyed himself. We had fun playing together too. Pretty different from your off seeing tunes, in it. Feels a lot more jaunty. It's true, the simple act of listening makes you feel connected to everyone around you. How bizarre. Manana would like to listen again. I'd like to write something like that one day, too. You will, Noah. I'm sure of it. I love these two so much. Okay, that was actually really cute. I feel bad that I laughed at his oh, name. So that's how they're doing. Okay, let's go pick up a couple of other quests. I did see a bunch, and then we're going to have some discussions, because there were a bunch of discussions to find. Shania stabbed us in the back. I can't believe it. 
Damn it all. We thought of her as a friend, but I guess she didn't feel the same way. Oh, so that's how they're doing. I am very torn about Shania still. Each member of the Lost Numbers is a sort of grandchild to me. When they don't come back from a battle, I'm consumed with sadness that I can't sleep. So I'm very happy that so many of my little grandchildren were liberated from prison and made it back to the city. Thank you for getting them all back safe and sound. We've made some new friends. You're welcome. Okay. Let's go grab that side quest up there. Because that one's super close. And then I guess I can get started on stuff. Oh, here's May. I've always hated the eclipses. Someone's friend or family would always be slaughtered, all just to make us feel cowed and small. But this year, you saved everyone from that fate, and I don't mean only the prisoners. You saved me, too, from stewing in my own juices about how powerless and defeated I was. The future can change, and we can change it. I want to do something to help, too. Whatever I can do for the future's sake. We've made some new friends. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Um, are you all right? It's my chest. Kind of hurts to breathe. Wait a sec. Group heal. It looked like it's still hurting. Did it not work? If arts aren't having any effect, we should bring her to the medical facility. The doctor will know what to do. Right. Shock to the system. Alrighty. We've made some new friends. Let's go talk to Jansen. We were resigned to the fact that the people seized while rescuing Gondor would take years to break out, but you, Ouroboros, made short work of that. Yep. Ah, this again? Have you seen it before? Since the city has moved location, the people have had to attune to a completely new environment. Patients keep getting rushed in because their bodies are weakened by the change. Oh, you know what? They were all the way up top, and now they are below ground. I bet you gravity is a lot stronger, too. And the air, there's probably like denser air down here as opposed to being up higher. Gravity's probably not a huge difference. It's definitely the air. Oh, hey, Monica. I didn't realize there were so many patients. You seriously didn't expect this would happen? Obviously, I understand that we had to move to avoid being wiped out by Mobius. But moving to a place a whole 2,000 meters below ground level, oh yeah, that's going to affect a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, that's enough of that. I know the remedy. As long as we get the medicine, everyone will be right as rain. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Okay, somebody is grumpy. I'll send for extra medical supplies. Let us know what you need. I will, thank you. That must be the guy from the other house. Right then. Doc, is there anything we can do to help? There is. If patients keep coming in at the current rate, we won't be able to provide enough medicine. Could you gather some egg seeds and heavy pomegranates for me? You'll find them in the Cadenzia region. Oh, and Rockadori root as well. That's indigenous to Lavi Sandbar. If you could prepare 20 of each for me, we'd have enough for a surplus of medicine. Okay, we'll be back with the goods as quick as you like. Sorry about this. No, we're here to help. We made some new friends. Okay, so I have tw uh, 10 egg seeds already, but I do have to get the other one. So I'll try and do that at some oh, point. So but I do have a doing. bunch of other quests to do in the meantime. So glad you lot made it through unscathed. Those Mobius were cut above. I'm still reeling from all the excitement. You did really well out there. The results even better than I'd hoped for. We exposed the city to some danger, but the reward far outweighed the risks. You even smashed the castle's flame clock. That's hard to credit. Yeah, we did. That's right. It's been ha so hard for Gray's wife having to wait for him to return. I feel for her. Gray's always leaving her behind to go on missions, risking his life and limb for the city. Gray's autonomy. Wait a minute. Gray? We know him. Okay, so he was part of the city. Oh. Wait, he's right here. Hey, you're Gray, aren't you? Don't bother me right now. I'm on a mission. Okay. We've made some new okay, but he's literally right there. Got yourself a real fan club, eh, Kryto? Everyone seems to go wild for you. Yeah, I guess I do get a buzz of energy from my fans. For that, I'm really grateful. If I can show people there's hope in surviving, then I can fight any battle. Oh yeah? I reckon I'm starting to understand the whole Crito effect now. No, it's locked! 
So the city was a Ferranus this whole time. I had no idea. The fact that it can move was just was just as much of a surprise. It's a surprise to me that there's anything that you don't know, Miori. It means there still might be more city secrets to discover. Okay, Travis. Oh, hey, perfect timing. You lot have already smashed up a few flame clocks so far, right? Yeah, a few, I guess. Why? Well, the thing is, the lost numbers are going to start paying out a bounty for damage dealt to Mobius. Here you go. Oh! We've made some new friends. Ah, so you showed up. Are we getting more of that bounty? Yeah, you've really done in quite a few of those flame clocks now, huh? The fighting's only going to get more fierce from now on. I hope you'll be helping us out with that. Alright, looks like those are the two for now. So Mobius aren't as united as they make themselves out to be, eh? Not too different from our Senate. I keep hearing that word Senate, but I don't actually know what it means. It's a committee made up of the six houses. Surely, sure, they're all always blocking this or that, but they're also a storehouse of know-how. When they aren't squabbling over ideology, they share their knowledge and set a direction for the city. The one with ultimate responsibility we call the Elder, just one of many burdens the boss is shouldering right now. Oh, so so Monica's basically in charge of the whole city. All right, well, let's talk about this one. Shall we put our heads together on this? We've been through a lot since we settled on getting to the city, huh? But we all made it through in one piece. That's something to be thankful for. Yeah. We're seeing a world that we've never known before, experiencing it for the first time. I just wish I could have let Guernica know that too. If it wasn't for him, we'd have been cut down right where we stood. Yep, or maybe just ended up killing each other in battle like every other schmuck. I'm glad it didn't come to that. Yeah, think about it. What the old man gave us, it was immense. But in the end, we won't know a flippin' thing about the guy, will we? Kinda sucks. I mean, it's pretty late in the day, but I really want to know more about him. I wonder what his motive was for giving us this power. No, in fact, I think we have a duty to find out. Because like him, we stand together with the people of the city. Seems like all of the city folk thought he was a pretty awesome guy, huh? Especially Monica. He was a really special person for her, right? Indeed. Monica was referring to him as dad, even. It's a city custom. That's what they call the person who raises them. Perhaps we can ask Monica about Guernica and find out what, she, what he really thought. After all, we're carrying his dreams now, fighting to make them real. Okay. Gray, you've come from the city. You come from the city, don't you? Yeah. No need to be so standoffish, mate. You're allowed to talk, you know. Don't usually bother with trivial stuff. So you have a wife, don't you? Don't you want to go see her? Fine, either way. Come on, that's no good. She'll want to see you. You can always drop in while you're giving your report to the Lost Numbers. Oh yeah, you kept all of that about the Lost Numbers quiet, didn't you? I told you, I don't talk about unimportant stuff. Cannot believe this bloke. Let's have it out then. Proposal, let's go and see this wife of yours. I'm taking your silence as a yes. Good work, team. Let's go. <laughs> Love birds. A novel? They're all in the rage in the city. Some kind of book or something? I don't know. A book? Can't be that good then. Excuse you. I get the feeling they're pretty different from the textbooks we used to have to read. Man, they haven't even had a chance to read for fun. Oh, different how? I don't know. The de I don't know the details. Are you curious though, Mio? Just a little. Should we read on read one of these novels and see what it's like? Yes, let's see if we can find one to buy in the city. Before or now, I can't tell which one was tougher. What is this about? Ah, uh, nothing really. I was just thinking about the training regime lost numbers go through. I hear it's a real gauntlet. That's how you toughen up, ain't it? Not that I'd want to sign up myself. Right? Ours wasn't a pleasant at all. But when it boils down to it, I think it's the trainees who are better off, yeah? Compared to what we're doing now? Exactly, yeah. Life is a lot easier back when we were re new recruits, right? Uh, uh, that does make a kind of sense. All we do these days is fighting and then more fighting. Yeah, you get me? What sort of training do you think they actually go through? You're curious too, Senna? You want to come with me? We can check it out together. Yeah, now you're talking. It's always fun to shop around for some new exercises. You lot are really getting into this idea. The training ground should be near the dormitory. I think we spent the night there once. Yeah, let's drop by when we're in the area. Ooh, side story for lands. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if this is going to increase the level of his of his class. Wait, what's happening? 
So you wish to utilize this thing of which I meant to dispose? Such daring lunacy. That is what I would dub it. It would be a dreadful waste to throw it away. There's always a use. Always. What's going on? People, lives, the lot. Why? I stand corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lost numbers. The city ruffians. You do know, no life can be harvested therefrom. Yes, I am aware. That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. The lives of the fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock. As a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. What? Oh. The cream of the crop of youth competing for glory. Oh. Did that not simply sublime? What's going on? I didn't choose to do anything. Wait. Was that? What was the kid's name? From the very beginning. I don't remember. But why did they show me that right now? Was that part of Lanz's story? Huh. Let's rest and heal up. I mean, I guess it would make sense because that kid was kind of involved in his past. I think that's all I can do right now. I still need to find the city camp because I need that for the Fortune Clovers one. It's soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it. The sea just seems to go on forever. If we were still in Colony Gamma, we'd never have ended up coming here. Don't think we would have either, eh, Noah? Yeah, no way. I don't think I could have even imagined spending time just gazing out on the water. Well, of course not. If we had the time to spend staring at the sea, we had time to fight. You said it. I think having moments like these are good for us from time to time. Agreed. I'm getting a call. Huh? It's Commander Izzard. Tyon, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What can I do for you? I need to discuss something with you. Could you come by Colony Lambda? That is, when you have a free moment. I'd hate to inconvenience you. Yes, understood. We'll be there. All right. See you later then, Tyon. What did he say? That we should meet him at Lambda whenever we have free time. All right, then let's pay him a visit when we have next gap in our schedule. Oh, here's Tyon's side story. Okay. You. Don't worry, we're on your side. We're friends of Monica. We thought you might be able to use a hand. Monica, then you must be Ouroboros. Fantastic, we're fine here, but the captain up ahead could use some help. Seems like monsters are really slowing down the retrieval. Understood, we'll do what we can. Are you all fine then? Yeah, not to worry. We're five by five. We're... We'll be taking every last bit of plunder back to the city. This wreckage is like a treasure trove for us. Can't be wasting a single bit. Are you okay? Is something wrong? A friend of mine died recently. His name was you. I see that wreckage and I just can't help think about the folks who died there. We should be grateful for everything left there. That's a feeling I understand well. We've made some new friends. All right, let's go help this guy. Well, looky here, the Ouroboros themselves. Mizuki told me you were coming. Oof, that's a voice and a half. Heh, <laughs> how rude of me. Rest assured that we will leave no trace of our existence. Well, I'm glad you're so enthusiastic. It's taking you some time to retrieve everything, I hear. Mm-hmm. Had a bit of trouble with Garafas, you see. I don't know what's gotten into them in, in such a tit. I don't know what's gotten them into such a tiz. They won't leave. seem to leave our salvage alone. It's proving nigh impossible to get our hands on those loveness parts. I'd like to retrieve them undamaged, if possible. So you just need us to bash up, bash up some garafas? Piece of cake. Recovery of resources is the goal. Engaging in the enemy is secondary to that. Repeat. Yeah, where did that come from? That's the order of priority. Don't you forget it. We support more lives with our scavenging than you know. Always keep that in mind. Got that? Um, yes, ma'am. Good lad. Don't worry. It's part of a rookie's job to make mistakes, you know. Rookie. You're the new recruits, aren't you? Now come on, pick up the pace. Use your powers and whatnot to retrieve those parts. Thanks in advance! Nicely done. And no significant damage to note. Nothing to sneeze at, eh? That's Ouroboros for you, I suppose. So we finally convinced her. This was a test from the get-go, wasn't it? I suppose you wanted to know if the power of the famous Ouroboros would mess w mesh with the Lost Numbers way of the life. So you saw through us. You're smarter than I thought you'd be. It's good to know how the scavenger troops feel about us anyway. Thank you for telling us. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Thanks to you, I gotta keep my team safe. 
Mizuki's a newlywed, you know, and I couldn't face May if anything happened to him. But I digress. Better get the troops home safely, eh? Thanks for your help. Pleasure working with you, Ouroboros. Monica, can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him. But we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So, we thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! <laughs> I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Dam that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... you weren't on very good terms? I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought... that we'd have more time together. Huh. Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. Aww. <sighs> Sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad... Guernica died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in? Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But... There are personal items that have been left behind though, right? Huh? Maybe... You'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Ouroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. <laughs> Travis, could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around Alfetto Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. We've brought their belongings. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah, that was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly, placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um, 
You guys have off-seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off-seeing for city folk? Hmm. You got here first. Boss, we were waiting for you. Brother, you. Zua. You made it back. kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that we could have talked more. But you're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you. trusted us all with the future, as the Founders did. Looking back is not an option. to be strong for so many people. So that was enough seeing. The sound of that music, it's really something else. I don't think anyone here will forget this day as long as they live. The Fallen never got to win their battles, but maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah, finally. Speaking of, you ought to get some rest too. You're going to be pretty busy from now on. You said it, boss. Well, wait, just how busy are we talking here? <laughs> from now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Oh, so this huh? is how we get her permanently. Then who's going to handle okay. things in the city? You'll be here, won't you, Travis? <laughs> you got this. Like father, like daughter, eh? Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me anytime you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle too. There's so much I'd like to ask you about yourself, the city. No worries. Oops. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. If you've got time to rip on the boss, I might just assign you some more duties, Travis. Whoops. Oh. 
Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. Yay, we got Monica!